Have you ever wondered how the Johnson City the Area United Way makes lasting changes? It was right here, right here where we live. I'm not a role model, there's nothing I can do. You see it over well again and again. But you know down deep it's self righteous salvation for your soul. Tells you what to do, you can't ignore what you see with your eyes. Give a little back, you can make a difference. Give a little back, be an inspiration. Give a little back, try and light the fire. Oh, you give. Adult daycare services families by giving them what we call relief, respite care. Um, it's very difficult to keep a, a member at home, especially when they have to go to work during the day. Uh, this will keep them knowing that their family member is safe and they can go on to work, uh, and yet they don't have to use the alternative of a nursing home. There's benefits both for the client and for the family. For the client, it's a socialization place. It's a place where they don't have to be alone. They have other, make friends, and it's like a family. Uh, a lot of them think of each other as family. Uh, it's just a comfortable place to be during the day and a safe place to be. And they offer exercise programs for them. They uh, help them with their bills. They have uh, people come and paint their nails or fix their hair, and uh, they take them bowling. We, uh, I've, I was uh, chaperone trips to Walmart, to Food Lion, um, and, and once or twice a year they take actual field trips, which we also chaperone. My husband will help then and maybe push a wheelchair, but it just keeps them home in a safe environment versus going to a nursing home and being alone. Well, the United Way is a wonderful program as far as subsidizing. In other words, adult daycare is a federally funded program, but very limited. And if they didn't have the help of United Way, there would be no program. I found out about IHN through DHS, and they told me it was a place for homeless families or people with children you know, that needed assistance or, you know, and just, they just gave me a list of numbers and I called a couple places and it was probably about a week and I heard back from IHN and they said, we'd like to, we'd like you to come down and um, fill out an interview form and we'd like to interview you. And I said, I was, you know, pretty desperate. Is there any way we could move it up? And they said, well, how about, you know, day after tomorrow? And they were really nice to try and work me in and everything and they just really accommodated me and got me down there and we did our interview and you know I was in, I was in the program I'd say within a week it was I think they knew how desperate I was <laughs> I was at IHN I'd say six and a half weeks it was six and a half weeks almost seven and they, did, they actually didn't think I was ready to leave, but um, being so displaced and having nothing, you know, I thought I was in a good place. I had a job, and um, they helped me get a job. They provided transportation. Um, we stayed at churches, you know, food and shelter and just companionship. Um, worship on Sundays, you know, that was a big thing, you know, and just the fellowship, you know, really showed my little girl and gave us a lot of encouragement, you know, from being so down low and, you know, not having any hope or anything. And we've been out of the program for a couple years and we're doing really good. I was a little bit skeptical that there, there were people who were willing to help me because after all, I, I wasn't worthy. And um, so when I'm 
when I met Patsy and Brian both, um, my first reaction to them was that they were not judgmental of me, that um, even though I had very harsh judgments for myself and I believed that my life story demanded those judgments, um, even after they heard my life story, they weren't uh, judgmental of me. The, um, I felt from them um, a desire to help me just by the virtue of the fact that I was a fellow human being, and I think that had the most profound impact on me. IHN is so different. It's um, Although it's not time-specific because each case is individual, um, there's there are things that you have to do, work that you have to do, things that you have to do. Um, uh, like I think, I think it took me three, maybe four weeks to find a job. Then um, it took a little longer to find housing. But it's about holding you up long enough so that you can stand on your own in a way that encourages you to feel that you're capable of standing on your own. With the United Way, as big an organization as they are, now they're stepping in to help with IHN and IHN as much as they do for the people in the Johnson City area that are homeless families. Fa homeless families struggle really hard. And when you're going to lose everything and everybody you care about, that makes it ten times harder. But if, if they could help with keeping these families together and making them stand on their own two feet, the United Way and IHN is only going to help the Johnson City area be a better place for everybody to live. Give a little back, try and light the fire. Welcome to Girls Inc. Come on in. She runs, she walks. She flies, she loves. She sings when she talks. She's a happy girl. I like Girls Inc. because the after school programs are great and I get to see my friends. I like Girl Think because whenever we come here, we get to see our friends and we get to do the after school programs like dancing, cook, loft, sewing, cooking, and play outside. And, that get, and that's really fun for us to get a lot of energy. The Girls Inc. program has been a godsend to me, having two children and after school programs. Um, it's a very structured, wonderful program for the girls. They have many, many activities that are scheduled with lots of meaningful activities for them. Um, my girls have grown and have been participating in the Girls Inc. for several years now. And it means a lot to a parent when you come to pick up your child and your child says, can you come back? I want to stay. I don't want to go home. Um, my children would stay at Girls Inc. if I could allow them to do so. So it's been a wonderful program. It's been, um, as they say, they've empowered my girls. And from that, I think my children are growing and nur being nurtured here. And that means a lot for an after school program. Give a little back. Absolutely, best be out. <laughs> I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> what are your favorite activities here? <laughs> Go ahead. 
I'll edit, don't worry, okay. You got to give a little 